Hey Cancers, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am She, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, if you happen to be new to the channel, very special welcome to you. I do hope that you'll hit the subscribe button and join me here more often. I would absolutely love to have you a part of this all Cancerian family here. I am a Cancer and I cater to the Cancers right here on the Cancerian Vibe. So definitely make sure you turn on your notification bell, okay? Because each and every single time that I upload, it's going to be for the best sign in the zodiac you guys cancers no matter where you have it in your chart the readings on the channel can resonate for you but only take what resonates y'all leave what doesn't it's free will over here on the cancerian vibe okay okay so y'all i'm back i'm here taking care of your new moon and aquarius um reading happening depending on where you are um could be happening the 31st or um the first for you first of february but y'all, we're gonna get right into it. So, you know, uh, a lot is going on astrologically. We're kind of in the age of Aquarian, you guys. Um, and so you'll probably find this time, Cancer, this new moon time. This is a really, 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 listen. Okay, Cancer, clue in. Because if you weren't listening, listen. This is a really, really, really great time to set intentions in regards to um, really set intentions, period. This is like the start of the, the lunar year, y'all, the lunar new year. And, you know, we used to, before we got on like time and we can go all day about that. We used to go by the cycles of the moon, but cancer, you know, you're ruled by the moon. So this works for you. Okay. So think about it like this. This is basically your new year. Like I talked about y'all in the weekly reading that came, it came out in the weekly reading. If you haven't seen it already, I'll drop it in the eye so you can take, um, um, see what messages you get from that reading but you guys it's like the new year this is the new year the new energy it's the great this is the time to set those new year new me goals you know those intentions you will find that you'll have the energy to actually follow through on the plans um cancer you know like actually going through with it and that's what that was the energy that came up in the weekly reading, which makes sense because we have the new moon happening this week. So you can feel the energy days before, days after cancer. It was really, really the time of you like figuring out what works, what doesn't, finding your system, your rhythm. You may be finding that you find your rhythm, you know, as you move into this new moon. So, you know, things will kind of change. You may feel that you're more structured, able to actually, you know, discipline, able to actually accomplish your goals. So this is an amazing time, an amazing an amazing an amazing time for you cancer to set those intentions for what it is that you're trying to um to accomplish okay and actually work towards it okay the energy is perfect for this and you'll definitely want to take advantage um so we're gonna get into it um i think that's all i really wanted to tell y'all you know mercury retrograde goes direct this week or um, mercury retrograde goes or Mer okay, so Mercury goes direct this week. Venus has gone direct. Um, yeah, y'all. So there's some shifts happening in the energy. I'm going to go ahead and start the reading, though. I'm going to, of course, you know, I like to pull from the Surrender deck. See what we're going to leave behind with this new moon for Cancer. What is Cancer surrendering with this new moon in Aquarius energy spirit? Okay, look, Cancer, it's time to let the worries go, okay? It is time to move into a time of peace, okay? Make a commitment to peace, enjoying your peace, okay? It says cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. So, yeah, there's something about a routine definitely happening for you, Cancer. So, if you haven't been on a routine or maybe like a schedule is hard for you, um, raise your hand. So, yeah, um, you may find yourself, you know, being a little bit easier with this, Um in quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy your inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too, and your life will flow more easily. And you know, when you give off good vibes, you get good vibes, Cancer, and that's how things, um, you know, your your blessings manifest and the world circulates. If we if we could all just get on good vibes, giving good vibes and receiving, but you know, of course, that's just too easy. Um, but that's the sense of you know, kind of leaving these challenges, these worries behind behind cancer and move into a more peaceful, a more settled, a more comfortable, a more stable, or more back, 
a more balanced time okay make a commitment to leave the anxiety behind um you know when you do feel like there's a worry coming up it's time to negate it negate the thought here um with faith that spirit is guiding you always okay with faith that spirit is guiding you always so we're gonna get started um here cancer i'm gonna pull the energy surrounding the new moon in aquarius I'm going to pull the energy surrounding the new moon in Aquarius for Cancer. Adjustments are required. Yes, the third quarter moon came out. So, yes, Cancer, it's time to make some changes, some adjustments. This is the era. This is the time of change. And the age of Aquarian is the time of kind of innovation and making things easier um, and change. So, this is like right on point. Cancer, you're needing to adjust your um, adjust to your peace too, and tuning to your inner peace. You know, finding mindfulness meditation would be a great practice um, for you. I feel like Cancer, um, but yeah, right on point with the energy. So you guys, let's pull. I'm going to for this new moonology deck we're gonna ask some questions here let's see spirit what um visions and dreams are emerging for cancer during this new moon in aquarius what visions what dreams will be emerging for cancer during this new moon in aquarius uh-oh so, yeah, oh, okay, releasing control. And then we have the full moon in Aquarius as an underlying energy here, like being real, being real, okay? Um, but first quarter moon in Taurus that came out, releasing control. And I feel like, you know, um, that is a more dream-filled life for you, um, Cancer, where you don't have to um, have this worry, you know? It's like you're relinquishing and realizing that you have a co-creator and that things are working. Um, like, you don't have to do everything for yourself. It definitely feels like you may be taking some type of leap of faith here, um, too, cancer i'm just saying that or you know kind of like free falling but yeah it's just kind of like free falling and knowing that spirit is there to catch you that's why yeah you're you're releasing this control and and um really really fine in this sense and, and yeah it comes from meditating too so cancer i definitely feel like you know you if you haven't if you don't have meditation in your day in your day-to-day -day, you definitely may want to add that um because yeah, that's where you that's where you find your your best peace is in your inner your inner self. Let's see how can how can cancer be impactful? I'm not uh so that talk less feel more came out and I do feel like um cancer so I wasn't gonna take that because I didn't even get my full question out but I do feel like there's some type of message in that talk talking less and feeling more because cancer like your feelings your emotions your intuition that's your superpower you being able to feel that definitely feels like you know what you need to be doing now is feeling um feeling what works what doesn't work um you know feeling the nudges and how they're guiding you uh, moving forward that's what this um, energy what you don't need is to um, try to talk yourself out of your feelings or, um, you know, you may not want to talk to other people about your plans and your goals because they may confuse you and, and just confuse you and talk yourself out of your feelings. So it's just kind of a sense of, you know, talking less about it and just moving more so by your feelings, by, by your gut um, and honoring your feelings here because, yeah. Y'all, we're getting ready, you know, after this, we'll move into, you know, the Pisces era and it's all about feelings, right? All about feelings. But so, y'all, one sec. All right. So, um, but how will Cancer be impactful with their vision? You gotta, you gotta go for it. It does definitely feel like a free fall. You gotta go for it your vision like you actually have to go for it um like making it happen but how will cancer be impactful with their vision spirit 
Yeah, okay. A lot of Taurus energy, y'all. So a lot of Earth energy. Um, be proud of yourself. It says, um, be proud of yourself here. Um, and and so, like I said, um, helping you move forward. Breaking up your goals into smaller goals to where you're able to kind of celebrate or be proud of yourself kind of pushes you to go um, go further. It gives you, a, it helps with your peace of mind as well too, Cancer. So, um, yeah, but let's see, we're in, where in life should Cancer welcome change at this time? Where in life should Cancer welcome change see cancer it's time to step up and leave um a lot of earth energy here so cancer i definitely feel like and look here at the bottom of the deck um is the new moon and leo shine so yes cancer remember you are the star you're guaranteed success it's time for you to shine it's time for you to be in the spotlight it's time for you to take a leading role um i feel like people are definitely you know they they're watching you it's time for you to leave you have a vision it's time for you to lead with your vision um and so there could definitely be some adjustments that have to be you know made as you step into this role um you know this is definitely a change stepping up and leading for you so but you have the light within you cancer that's and and that's why you need to understand to be proud of yourself to understand the light that you hold within you because that's important okay so let's see, how can um, cancer bring balance into the world around them? How can cancer bring balance into the world around them, spirit? Yeah, working through your feelings and going deeper. See, this going deeper showed up, this new moon in Scorpio, when we were talking about your intuitions and your feelings. I don't know if I have pointed it out to you but it was definitely here so this water energy cancer you connecting to your feelings honoring your feelings trusting your feelings so when you have a thought when you have a gut feeling trust in that no matter what it is um and working through that you can't just bury this down or try to ignore it it's definitely time to get to peace you have to work through these um through these feelings cancer so let's see what positivity will emerge from this new moon in Aquarius spirit. Detoxify. So look, full moon in Taurus. A lot of Taurus energy showing up. A lot of earth energy. Um, so I definitely feel like this is happening and working with your tangible world, um, Cancer, the world. But detoxify came out here and forgive at the bottom of the day. Whether this is forgiveness for yourself, Cancer, for another person, leaving... Um, yeah, leaving something or some a situation, circumstances behind, forgiving it and moving forward. That's forgiveness um gives you peace. But trusting that all will be well. And I feel like that's what's happening. Like you're having to take this leap and just trust that everything is gonna work out. Like stop trying to control it. Um just take this leap and move forward. Detoxify. Um I'm gonna pull one more. What change? What positivity will emerge from this new moon in Aquarius spirit? Stepping into your power. Oops. Stepping into your power won't just pop out long. And see, so forgive showed up. <laughs> forgive popped out. So I'm just going to put it over here. So yeah, it is some things that you're needing to kind of get rid of. And I do feel like that that goes into working through your feelings. Um, trusting your feelings and working through them, Cancer. So let's see. Let's clarify. Where is Cancer needing to release control? Clarify release control for Cancer. Look, <laughs> the chariot came out. So understanding that, um, understanding cancer that, look, your chariot is definitely here on a free fall as well. I definitely feel like, look, you're just needing to trust that, um, your hard work will pay off. There's definitely a sense of you being in the public as well, or like people seeing you cancer, this determination and willpower that showed up for you too in the chariot as well. It's like 
having a good balance of it. So you want to be determined to work towards your goals, but you don't want to be so rigid to where you're only set on it working one way or it looking one way, however. Um, but I feel like really the cherry is coming out here to say, yeah, cancer, cancer needs to release control. Namaste. Like definitely there's a sense of meditation. Um, tell me more about release control for cancer. Tell me more about release control for cancer. Ooh. Okay. So... We got the seven of cups that came out. See, okay, there may be some confusion about moving forward or making some type of choice. Um, definitely there could be some overanalyzing you're, or you're procrastinating on moving forward with the seven of cups energy. It's definitely, um, you're definitely needing to uh, allow yourself to move forward, but allow yourself to be guided forward, Cancer. Like allow your, allow your intuition to speak to you, your spirit to speak to you. Because yeah, like that's the, that's the point here is that you're co-creating. Like you have someone to catch you. Like you don't have to do this all by yourself. But let's see, tell me about be proud of yourself for Cancer. Clarify, be proud of yourself. Yeah, you boss up here um, with the air, uh, emperor coming out. You definitely see when you take charge in this situation, if you haven't taken this leadership role, there could be some type of leadership role for you where you're stepping up, you're leading. Be proud of yourself um, because that's what will bring you um, your success. There's definitely a sense of two, yeah, structure and discipline with the emperor coming out. So like I said, your routine, you may definitely feel more structure, more discipline as you, as you work. So yeah, you have something to be proud of here. Definitely, Cancer. I definitely see you like using your um, getting organized, getting like getting things together. You may definitely feel more productive. You know, it's like you're taking charge of this goal and like going for it. Okay, but let's see. Step up and lead. Step up and lead. Why step up and lead here for Cancer? Spirit. Why is step up and lead here for Cancer? So we got the three of um, cups that came out. I definitely feel like, honestly, can't say that this is going to start around like your friends, your family, like your close community, like your people, your chosen people. Um, that's where you're needing to, to start, like step up and lead there. And so that may not necessarily, so take it like this, step up and lead because there may be some type of boundary you need to set. Um, you may need to stand up for something, you know, you may have some type of belief that you want to stand up for that you believe in, you know, it's just a sense of you having confidence and challenging those. Um, cause it may be just, it may be people close to you, um, that need your influence or it may be people close to you that are challenging you um challenging your power but definitely it's time it's a sense for you or a time for you to step into your power cancer tell me more about step up and lead yeah look the strength energy the strength card so your personal power it's really time for you to um hone in on your personal power cancer you're stronger than you knew because and you're stronger than you knew because you um practice forgiveness that's what's happening in the strength card and remember this um forgive card came out as well so you could have been dealing with the pisces um another water sign here However, it definitely feels like there's someone or something. It could even just be you that you're needing to forgive. Um, cancer. But yes, so the 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 mantra for like is acting on the plan. Plan carefully and act. Plan carefully, then act. Okay? Plan carefully and then act. Um Let's see. Clarify work through your feelings for cancer. Okay. Ooh. 
Yeah, so we got, wow, yeah, we got the hermit coming out. See, time spent in peaceful meditation, Cancer. It's you, you need to meditate and listen, listen to yourself, honor your feelings, trust what your body and your feelings are saying. I do feel like there could have been some type of sadness, some type of, um, like you could even be mourning the past, Cancer. Like it could even be as simple as that, but know that personal growth, this strength comes from those, um, rising above this and letting those challenges go. I do feel like there's a misunderstanding or like there was some conflict that's going to be healed in this forgiveness. Um, but definitely there's a time of you being in solitude, really, really working through your feelings, Cancer. Um, seeking out Seeking out a spiritual mentor to help with self-discovery, you may be contemplating that as well. Kind of like someone, um, something to help like you get in touch with your inner self. Because there's definitely a sense of like inner peace here, y'all, or, or your inner being that's being um, worked on here, worked out. But, you know, the, and that's how you transform the outside is, you know, you... Your inside because your your out your outer um, circumstances not always but your outer circumstances better really kind of reflect your inner um, circumstances so but yeah so definitely um, you may want to um, also cancer you could be the light here shining the light for others to help them um, you know be the example because you know you are the star you are the cancer the star so yeah let's see tell me more about working through your feelings and being open because i feel like cancer you know you may actually kind of shy away from um like you may kind of shy away from actually being this open with you know yourself but let's see work through your tell me more about work through your feelings for cancer uh -oh. clarify work through your feelings for cancer Okay, so none of the cards want to stay on the table. But yeah, see the five of cups here, Cancer. Um, this is the adjustment that needs to be made. Like, you know, stop focusing on the negative of a situation or stop focusing on the past. Stop focusing think on things not turning out how you anticipated. Like the plan isn't the plan just to say like it has to go according to your plan. That's not the message here. Um, but the message is, more so being plan planning to be prepared but still you know un still expecting the unexpected i know that sounds crazy but yeah um but see yeah forgiveness of self or others showing up here in the five of cups so yes forgiveness on the table i feel like someone may need to focus on forgiving themselves it definitely feels like self-forgiveness for some for others it could be others for others it could be both but um know that everything happens for a reason and you're needing to look for the hidden blessing in this situation there's definitely something that you're needing to like dig deep in dig deep down and get it out that's what it feels like cancer because yeah we had this um detoxify that showed up clarify detoxify for cancer yeah standing up for yourself it definitely feels like you're standing up for yourself cancer have confidence to challenge those that you may feel like are in power um or you know that are against you have some type of power you could have been dealing with the air sign someone that's kind of like witty too that tries to like be kind of smart they don't speak the same language as you because i feel like this person is un emotionally like unavailable so you're needing to detoxify that situation that could be definitely harmful for you you know as a cancer if this person you know um like mistreated your feelings or something here that could be something that you're needing to work through to move to be able to move to your ten of cups cancer so let's see tell me more about detoxify uh -oh. yeah see the four of cups came out um detoxifying these negative thoughts because know that cancer yeah the will is turning in your favor we got the will of fortune here at the bottom of the deck and the page of wands right behind it i feel like some good news is headed your way definitely and you could miss it if you're in this negative energy or you know where you're um where you haven't worked through your feelings you know you this could get in the way of your leading you needing to step up and lead as well cancer um it's definitely a sense that you need them to kind of wake up, wake up to the, wake up to the shift that's happening. Tell me more, um, tell 
Tell me about this forgive. Who is Cancer needing to forgive? What is this forgiveness about for Cancer? So it's death and cancer. So we got the two of the two of wands. I feel like, yeah, cancer, you're needing to make the choice to to forgive someone. It could be definitely someone that you were like in partnership with. Doesn't have to necessarily be a romantic partnership. This could be business, however. Um, but you're needing to move forward. I definitely feel like there's a sense of you sitting, um, and like really just sitting in silence, y'all. And like really just thinking and listening to your feelings and trusting them and working through them, adjusting them. Tell me more about forgiveness for cancer. Yeah, we got the Ace of Cups, y'all. But the Ace of Cups, it came out reverse. None of my cards are ever in the reverse, but the Ace of Cups came out in the reverse. So I definitely do feel like there is someone that you may have once had um, a deep connection with, an emotional connection with. Doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but it could have been turned upside down. You could be in separation right now. There needs to be some forgiveness that happens. I feel like um, your ships come in after that forgiveness happens, Cancer. The abundance from your past choices, the past choice needs to be the forgiveness. It's like forgiveness happens and then the blessings happen. So it's like, and you know, forgiveness isn't for the other person, Cancer. It's for you. I know I know they say that all the time. But yeah, with this Ace of Cups coming out in the reverse, y'all. Yeah, the reverse. <laughs> um, Tell me about these adjustments for Cancer. Clarify the adjustments that are required for Cancer. Being proud of yourself, releasing control. Look, they all came out, yes. Because definitely there's something, there's some type of sadness, some type of um, disappointment, some type of challenge. It could just even just simply be the past. It's It has you under the illusion that you're trapped. Um, th there needs to be a healing ha that happens here. And honestly, Cancer, overall, you're needing to take action. Take responsibility for your life now. Take action to move forward. Um, tell me more about these adjustments. But I feel like, you know, trusting that everything will work out well for you. Uh -oh. Tell me um, more about these adjustments. Okay. Can't. So the King of Cups came out. Um, yeah, and I see there's definitely a sense. So, Cancer, if you've been thinking about like uh seeking out like counseling or something like that, I definitely see that here. Um, in this King of Cups, that could be an adjustment. Like, some of you could decide to go into like spiritual counseling or like counseling, however. Um, you know, because you may find that you know you really do have some some re some repressed emotions. But also, too, Cancer, I see this as the adjustments being made, like going towards your sense of peace, um, having a solid connection, someone that you can trust, or a solid romantic relationship, moving into a very safe situation, um, moving into a time of great joy, happiness, success, okay? Magical opportunities coming in. Give me one more here for the adjustments. Yeah, that's balance being restored. Tell me more about the adjustments here. For cancer. See, yeah, there is some conflict. There was there was conflict or there could be conflict with others, cancer. There's needing to be some adjustments. You may end up walking away from people. You may end up um at the end the end all be all. I do feel like forgiveness needs to be the key. Um but also to cancer, um, it says very ambitious people like and you know, too, not letting people see what you're doing. Not letting people see what you're doing, um, but being very, very ambitious too. It's like not, you know, like not letting your right hand see your left hand, cause yeah, you're. It's like you're making magic here. It's like not letting your hand see what what magic you're creating in these adjustments. And yeah, justice right behind it, Cancer, and the Tower card. Yes, so it's a big change here. I definitely feel like things are coming back into balance here for you, Cancer. It's a new it's a new kind of lifestyle for you, a new life, um, a new situation. I feel like some of you could definitely be moving into a position of authority, but overall, a, a better and a better sense of peace. So.
um, there could be communication too between you and this person that you're needing to forgive. Um, it could definitely be a Gemini that you're dealing with. But look, the answers you need are coming, wanted to just slide out here. And yeah, it's this Gemini energy. So if you've been questioning something, um, can't say the answers that you need are coming. I'm just going to leave that here. Because yeah, a win-win outcome is forecast, Cancer. So it's like, go for it. Go for whatever, because like in the end, you win. Like have peace in knowing that. Like you can take a leap of faith now and everything will work out in the end. Um... Yeah, look, a time for healing came out as well. That's working through this feeling, um, these feelings. So it's definitely time to purge some emotions, heal some emotions, cancer. Final messages for cancer. Final messages for cancer. Okay, that was just a lot, but wow. So yeah, um, we got the step out of your comfort zone here at the bottom of the deck. So can't say, and I feel like that's kind of gonna going to kind of be the theme for you this year. Um, you know, kind of doing stuff that's kind of outside your norm, a little different. Um, but the answers you need and the conclusions to this cycle, the challenges, they're here. They are here. They're within reach. Okay. Um, also, Cancer, there's definitely a key, key sense of you like falling in love with yourself and understanding your worth and realizing who you are and the magic that lies within you and knowing that you are good enough for everything that you are desiring. Um, full moon in Virgo, you are good enough came out. But look, so we did find, we did get the new moon energy. Expect powerful change. That's why I'm telling you, Cancer, expect the powerful change. The shifts are happening. Um, the changes are occurring this is the start of the the lunar new year so start to see things kind of shifting and changing like this is when you will feel it um but you want to make sure you have dropped all the baggage okay these feelings these emotions you want to make sure you leave this baggage you do not want to carry it to the next realm the next cycle okay so we're giving you the message to um you know really really focus on healing whatever this could be healing um a conflict with another person healing the conflict within yourself or giving yourself whatever that looks like for you cancer you want to focus on that and add a meditation into the mix on a daily basis will not be um a bad idea so yeah um, I am going to leave it right here, Cancer. I really do hope that the um, reading resonates with someone and you find it helpful. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Um, but in the meantime, in between time, until next time, love you.